Welcome to Me and You Acres, guys. My name is Angie, if you're new here. Um, many of you know that a couple of months ago, we put our off-grid cabin on the market for sale. The hopes was that we would sell this cabin and still keep just under nine acres of our property and build a new cabin from scratch. Um, we did get an offer. <clears throat> I don't even know the timeline at this point, but I think it was about three weeks ago, maybe. Um, but it wasn't a set in stone offer because the um, potential purchasers had to meet a uh, condition first. Um, we knew it was going to be a tricky sale just because it is an off-grid cabin. It's not connected to hydro, so <laughs> it is only meant for a small number of people. Um, we have been progressing. At first, we were progressing like, okay, this is going to be our place. We're going to stay at this uh, cabin and this property, and we just kept working away at it. And then we got an offer. Um, hopefully, the wind's not too, too bad, but we got an offer, and then we just started acting as if we were going to move. So we have been in limbo. We have been busy. Well, on Friday morning, we got a phone call from our realtor, and now we know what our future holds. So this video is going to be uh, letting you guys know what's going to happen. Are we moving? Are we not? Uh, but I want to show you guys a few things first. So, of course Mr. Rooster goes off. You guys also might remember that our turkey went missing uh, a little while back and she didn't show herself for um, about a week and a half and we started getting worried but then she showed up and everybody was excited and asking about her and then she started coming around about a couple times a week. Well lately she has been coming back every day uh, to be fed and she has been hanging around the property every day now for the last few days so that's good and she's here beside me right now hey hi Turk tell everybody that you're doing okay you look like you're ready for a nap huh she likes to hang out with this chicken um, she's one of our originals and she doesn't like to hang around the roosters so she is usually by herself but this was our barn chicken she never wanted to leave the barn and so now that it's summer she's out and about and walking around and grazing and just free-ranging and so Turk tends to follow her around and they get along Turk does not like the roosters or most of the other hens one of the roosters does pick on her so I'm thinking that's maybe why she left in the first place so I'm not sure but I mean he's just doing his job um, and protecting he thinks he's protecting his ladies so we're kind of stuck she's been doing well she comes back and eats <laughs> she looks like she's ready for a nap right now eh? hey Turk you look pretty tired. Well, thank you for coming to check in and say hi. There's a lot of people that were asking about you. All right, it is way too hot out. So I'm going to see woof, if I can stick. I used to, before I chopped all my hair off, I used to be able to use a clip this size, even though I have a lot of hair. Uh, to stick my hair up so let's see if I can do that because the Sun she's a shining so it's competition of the roosters right now it's kind of funny when one goes off the other one's like oh no it's my turf so I wanted to show you guys the garden um, that we had started uh, a couple weeks ago I planted all of my stuff in containers <laughs> in case we did move and that way it was portable and if we don't move then you know we have a uh, ground that we are able to uh, we brought in some dirt so we can level it out and then we could start fresh next year um, but let's show you guys where the garden is at now so you remember those lettuce 
is that we planted from seed on a live a while ago. Well, I put them into containers and the goats did get to some, so that's why they're up here now. Um, but they are doing wonderful. We've also been eating from them. Uh, this is my toothache plant that I was telling you guys about and it's coming along nicely. We even have some start, um, the start of some buds. This is herb baskets. This is one that I, oh no, this one is the one I made for my mama. So I still gotta go bring that to her. And here's all our fresh salad. I'm gonna try to grow a couple of these and produce seeds, so I'm gonna let them bolt. But we have been eating it, so it's doing us well. But the biggest change is in the containers that where we have all our tomatoes, our squash, our zucchini. Um, so I'll show you guys that because it's doing really well too. Oh, come on, Turk. <laughs> so, uh, here we have a bunch of tomatoes. We have some cucumbers that are growing. We have some straw, not straw flowers, um, calendula that's growing there. And we have some herbs. Uh, I have some parsley, we have chives, yarrow, um, the toothache plant, which I've already shown you. And we do have some watermelon. Um, what else was it? Oh, this is a, um, like a honeydew melon, but it's, I think it's called Fond de Blanc melon. Um, so I'm hoping to get one at least this year so I can try it. So this is where our garden is at. Oh, we got some bunching onions, um, a watermelon and some yellow zucchini and then a lot of tomatoes and some flowers. So we put this on it so the goats didn't get to it. So far, it's working wonderful. Wonderfully. Mike just finished cutting the grass. And I always love it when he cuts the grass because when we first moved up here, there was like almost no grass. And so to see, we haven't planted any either. So to see how far it's come, um, it looks wonderful. We got the trailer out of here moved. And yeah, so it's coming along. We're cleaning it up real nice. We still have to find a structure to house all this stuff. This used to be in our carport, but it got destroyed this winter. So we still have this to take care of. Um, the rest of our tandem load, we have chopped it, except for the logs that all of the logs were resting on. So we just got to stack that and split a few of them because they're a bit big. Um, but yeah, that is the rest of our tandem load there and in our pile there. The goats are just out enjoying some grazing as well. We're missing Mr. Aiden. Oh no, there you are. Always at the truck, huh? Yeah, you like to go under his truck, don't you? Mr. Aiden, come here. Come here, Aiden. Come on. No? Okay. You know, a lot of people warned me that these guys were going to be horrible. They're going to be all over the place. Um, why would you want goats? <laughs> I'm here to tell you that I absolutely love having them. They are in the way when you try to garden, but we don't fence these guys in and they know where their home is. They basically stay within this property here. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Aiden, I knew you'd come. Hello, buddy. <sighs> I knew you'd come, you can't resist a good pet, huh? But these guys have so much personalities and they're all different. So if you're thinking about getting goats, yes, there are a few things that you need to consider. But my overall experience with this breed, which is Nigerian Dwarf, is that they're excellent. Um, unless I just completely lucked out with five different goats. They do get into stuff though. You have to go into goat owning knowing that they do get into stuff. Um, yeah, our house is an absolute mess right now because we've been cleaning and 
taking care of a few things here. You know you're getting older when it's a beautiful day like this and you mowed the lawn and you gotta come in for a nap. I promised him that I would let him sleep until our son gets here. All the way from Oshawa coming to help out some old fogies is our son Paul and he's here as a young able body to help us out over the next few days. And I'm young but I'm not able. He's very able, no. very. Yes you are, you have your mom's sense of humor but are you gonna admit that though? No. No, I didn't Never. think so. Okay. So you'll see him around over the next few videos and we can't wait to show you. So Mike is loading up the truck because he's going to, with Paul, go up to the top of the property and clear some more. And do you want to tell everybody why you're really here? Because you sold your house and now you need young able bodies to come and do stuff that you can't do anymore. Yeah, and so is the house a done deal? Uh, as of today, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. Done like Dina. Done like Dina? Done like Dina. Yeah? Yes, ma. So what are we doing on August 3rd, baby? And now they're gonna go up and build some gold shelters because we're moving. So that was the real reason Paul came up because we knew last week and yesterday was Monday and we were doing our live and it was so hard for us not to tell you guys because we wanted to but we also wanted to do a video about it so it came true guys thank you for all of your prayers your well wishes come on in here Mike thank you for your prayers your well wishes and everything we had a whole big journey ahead of us and we're super excited to take you guys along <laughs> and August 3rd is closing in quick! <laughs> so if there's one thing you can let everybody know, what would it be? <laughs> Follow what you want to, like do what you want to do because you never know unless you put yourself out there. And that's Life you guys. is a gift. That's it. And Every day's Christmas baby. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That's, That's good. And a cruise. So as we like to say around here, as always guys, take care. God bless. God bless and until next time. And I love having my baby boy up. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.